Hey, good morning, Auburn High School. I just want to cover some COVID safety pieces with you. Uh, it's been a little bit of time since I've really um, emphasized this. We emphasize it every single day down in the commons at breakfast and at all three lunches. And then the admin team, we walk the halls. We're not really doing the stationary supervision like we once did where we kind of have zones. We walk and we that way we can see the kids, we can point at their masks when they're not up all the way. And I just think it helps. And I hope you guys are harping on them in the classroom ad nauseum, okay? So what you're looking at right now is the district's um, COVID-19 activity dashboard. I hope you're staying up to date with this. Right now, this was updated last night or this morning. Um, as you guys can see, there's been 36 positive cases in our district in the last 14 days. There's been 411, and this includes students and staff. And 92% of all cases, uh, looks like they've been contracted off campus. So buildings are doing a really good job. And I don't wanna say we're doing a good job until we're doing a great job, because that's really what we wanna do. And that's really what this uh, quick video is about. But if you, uh, kind of look at where we've been um, at Auburn High School. I'm just going to give you a snapshot back to about a month ago. Um, back on October 9th to October 23rd, as you guys can see, um, we had six new cases and that was just amongst students. We didn't have any amongst the staff, so we ended up with six for that 14-day period. And what I've been doing is part of the mantra we use down in the commons. We're letting the kids know what the updates are on the dashboard once a week. The following week, after I told the kids we're shooting for zero, we were at six. And at least we didn't go backwards the wrong way. Um, and then this past week, uh, today we were able to announce we've only had one new case over the last 14 days. So uh, kids are doing a good job. Staff's doing a good job. I don't know what next week's going to bring. Hopefully it's a number that's low. Hopefully it's zeros. Uh, but that's one of the things we're shooting for. The other thing is I talked about the mantra or, or kind of reminding kids ad nauseum. This is a slide we keep up there every single day in the commons. And, you know, when we're doing the announcements, when we're kind of reinforcing the things that are going on in the school over the microphone, the kids don't look like they're listening. Okay. The kids look like they're talking, but it's amazing how many conversations I've had along the side of the lunchroom, walking through the halls, because the kids really are paying attention. Okay. So don't think they're ignoring you. They're just acting like kids, especially when they're with us at lunchtime. So I'm not gonna give up. I'm not gonna pretend like they're not listening because I've had enough good interactions with kids. And I know that our kids for the most part um, feels like our school's trying to do everything we can to keep it safe here. So when I run by the kids every single day is stay home if you have COVID-like symptoms. I let them know early in the year that most of the kids that did um, show up sick um, or did end up being sick during the day, felt that way before they came to school. And it's really their responsibility to make sure they don't do that. We want to mask up. We want to cover our mouths, of course. And I'm talking to them at lunch because now they're looking at each other. They're eating their food and we tell them, hey, of course, this is the time you can unmask. But the other big emphasis is making sure they're covering their nose. We don't want to see nostrils. And, uh, you know, we walk around the hallways when we do our hall duty. And that way we can find kids that are walking, don't have them up all the way, and we can remind them. We want to remind them to keep a distance in classrooms, um, at least three feet, and that's three feet of space. That's not three feet between my nose and someone else's nose. That's three feet of air, okay? We want to make sure we're being aware of our surroundings. Um, our kids are older. They're 14 through 18 or 19 years old. They're, they're pretty aware of kids. Most of them are driving cars or can drive cars. So we want to make sure they're using their spatial um, awareness because COVID is real. And uh, we want to emphasize washing hands often, often, often. And the days I hit that one more, I notice more kids are going to the hand sanitizer um, that's in the lunchroom. So we just got to keep pecking away. And as uh, we get better with this stuff. Um, they're teenagers. We still have to keep pecking away at it. The next slide I want to show you um, came from the high school principal's cadre today. A reminder we got is making sure in classrooms we're emphasizing the three feet or more. Really important. Got to make sure the kids are distancing. We're noticing in some classrooms, some of the furniture that isn't being used got pushed to the side. 
it's almost better to have it back in a classroom configuration because once you push it to the side, the remaining seats you have, you've just closed down your floor space quite a bit. So I would recommend take a look at your room. Don't give up. Don't say, yeah, right. I can't do this. I have so many kids. You got to use your creativity, you guys. And if you just can't seem to find it, have an admin come in and walk through it with you or have a colleague walk through it with you, guys. It is incumbent upon us to keep it safe. And it's easy to let our guard down because this has kind of become the new normal. So please take inventory, see what your classroom looks like. An admin might come by. I'm more than likely will probably send you an email saying, hey, Jeff, it didn't look so great in there. Notice about four kids being in close proximity. We notice some teachers have their classrooms set up in pods. Pods are sometimes four or five. You might want to restrict it down to maybe two or three kids per pod or reconfigure your seating. So again, just want to be real. This is real. COVID's real. Uh, my wife just told me last night, one of the gals she flies with, she just had her uncle die of COVID. Um, it's not going anywhere. It's going to be here until we can tame the saying. It's our reality. Make sure kids are cleaning or helping you clean the surfaces at the end of the day or during your last class. Um, but uh, that's basically the message, you guys. So again, I haven't hit it too hard with staff. I hit it hard daily with the kids. And I just want to let you know, this has not gone away. It is still part of our reality as much as I hate to say that. So anyway, have a great day. <laughs> I know, like the doomsday message, right? Um, but I know we can do it. I mean, we've had one in 14 days. I feel good about that. That's a win. A uh, win with a, small, with a small W, not a capital W, but maybe we'll get there by next week. All right, take care.